hi everyone and welcome back to my channel this is yummy brown of yummy Carshology and today's tutorial is a cute bralette that is made of granny square and a very tasteful stitch in the bra cup so if you like my content that talks about crochet and styling our crochet pieces please smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up so let's proceed to our tutorial so we're gonna make our bralette and this one is made of two-tone colors or you need two colors for your um, yarn and these are the materials that you will be needing for this project so in this tutorial I will be using a category 3 or lightweight yarn while my original burlet is using a medium white or category 4. This one is the rainbow cotton from Hobby which is a 8-8 yarn and it measures 3 inches while this one is 3.5 inches um, gauge of the granny square. Okay, so. This is how I will assemble my granny square or how I will interchange my colors and you can definitely do whatever you like or which color you want to pick. I will be using a 3mm hook and the green one as my main color and the pale pink as my secondary color and this one is a lightweight or category 3 from Hobby. So let's start off with a knot, however you do your knot and make a chain of five. There is a very detailed um, tutorial for this granny square. You may check them in the description box below or in the card above. In this tutorial, I will start my granny square with a chain of five and slip stitch to the first chain to make a circle and then chain three and make 11 double crochet into the circle to make it 12. So your chain three here is count as a stitch. Again, there is a detailed video or tutorial for this particular granny square. Please check in the description box below. So I'm just walking you through how I started my granny squares. So if you are a very beginner, please proceed to the previous video that is linked in the description box below. So now that we are finished with the first row of the granny square, I will change color. But again, the second granny square, you don't need to change color, but continue with the one color. This time we change color into pale pink by attaching the secondary color and make a chain of three. and and the same stitch or space make three double crochet together and this is how a double crochet together look like again there is a detailed video in the description box below please check that one chain of two then in the next stitch make four double crochet together four double crochet together is a double crochet half finish and then you will start another double crochet in the same stitch and you have to repeat it until you have four of them and then yarn over and pull it through and make a chain of two you have to continue this double crochet together until you have 12 of them so you have to continue around and make sure you have 12 cluster or double crochet together so I am here in my last um, cluster or double crochet together and I'll be finishing it off with yarn over and pull it through all the way and chain of two and slip stitch to our chain three in the very beginning of this row that's the second row again if you are making the second granny square you don't need to change color but since I'm making this one I have to change a color again the same way attach the second color and start off your stitch by chaining three and make two double crochet in the same chain space so again so in this row we will be working in the two chain space from the previous row chain two and three double crochet in the same chain space so we are creating the first corner of your granny square here again if you want a detailed tutorial please proceed the previous video in the description box below now the next chain space you have to make three half double crochet and another three half double crochet on the chain space after that okay and then again make another corner which is three double crochet
and a chain of three and then another three double crochet in the same chain space so the same pattern two sets of three half double crochet in between the corners so I'm here at the end and I will end this row with a slip stitch to my chain three at the beginning of my row so this is how our granny square should look like and this one is using a lightweight or category 3 yarn it should measure 3 inches um, in your gauge now we will assemble this one so i have a correction here to make um do not overdo your granny square i have eight granny square in this previous one and it actually touches at the back and it's quite loose so what you're gonna do is make a granny square that only go all the way to the back and does not touch each other's end uh, now we will touch the granny squares using a back loop method so attach your yarn in the corner all loop and then this time if you look at your granny square this way you can see a v-shaped stitches at the top and just used the back loop of the first granny square this one and the back loop of your second granny square so we're using the loops at the back of each granny square facing wrong side to each other and make a single crochet again just the back loop of the first granny square and the back loop of the second granny square and make a single crochet all the way to the second corner So there you go we're only using the back loop so make sure you only um, get the back loop create that nice bump in each of the granny squares border So now that you arrive in the second corner you have to use all the stitches and make a single crochet okay and that's how we attach the granny square so you have to repeat that in all of your granny squares until they are all attached side by side and they form a under bust panel for your brass you can alternate colors you can use one color or two colors it's really up to you same procedure start in one corner and then end in the other corner and in between is just a single crochet using the back loops of your granny squares and then cut off your yarn and do the same again until all the granny squares are attached so I have here all my granny squares and total of seven again do not overdo your granny squares you don't want the end of each granny squares touching at the back because we still have to use a corset style closure at the back do not cut off your yarn and continue the borders of your granny square so chain one and make two single crochet in every corners and one single crochet in every stitches around okay so if it's a corner you have to put two single crochets in that corner if it's a stitch just put one single crochet okay so the corner that is attached side by side of your granny square you have to put two single crochet in that corner so two single crochet here because this is a corner but in this corner here which is the real corner of your panel you have to put three single crochets okay just the edge of your panel there should be three single crochet in that corner and then continue your single crochet in each stitches to regular stitches around so I'm here at the end and this one is again another corner so I have to put two single crochet here and then ending this row with a slip stitch to the chain one we made at the very beginning of this row you can cut off the yarn you can wave your ends if you want to this time we will make the bra cup my bra cup is actually medium size it measures six 
5 inches for small, 6 for medium, and 7 for large. This is just a basic guide. You still have to fit your bra if it fits or not. And fold your panel in half and put stitch marker in the middle. That's the indication that that's where we will attach our cups. So the stitch marker here will be our indication where we will attach our bra cup. So this is the center or the middle of your bralette or your panel and you will place the bra cup on top of your panel. Okay, so we need another one here and this is where we will place both of the bra cup. So I will be using these two colors just like the granny squares and wrap your yarn around your finger or however you're comfortable in starting a chain. So I'm still using 3mm hook here and I started with the color green. Making knot however you are comfortable in starting or making a knot. Pull the tail and tighten that knot and make a chain of 11. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So that's our foundation for the beginning of our bra cup. And from there, we will single crochet in the next stitch, going back up where we started. Okay, so just single crochet all the way to the last stitch. I am here at the end of my row. I have one stitch left. So I have nine single crochet and then on the last stitch we will increase. So single crochet, chain one and another single crochet in the same stitch, okay? So our work is from here all the way there in your increase and going back in the other side of your foundation. Okay, so in your increase, put a stitch marker so we will not lose that increase. And take note, we have different increase as we go through the process of making the cup. And then in the side of your um, foundation, you have to make another single crochet all the way down. So in this row, I should have or you should have nine single crochets. And I'm here at the end. Do not finish your single crochet. We will change our color or our yarn. But as for now, this is what it looks like. Your first two rows of the cup is one color. Then pull a yarn using the second color and chain one. Okay. And then as you go through in this rows, you have to bury your previous color. You have to bury or include it in your stitches. So single crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet. Single crochet next. And then double crochet. So this is the start of our special stitch, which is the houndstooth stitch. It is an alternate of single crochet, double crochet as you go along. Okay, and again, do not forget to bury your first color or yarn along the stitches or inside the stitches. So once you reach into your stitch marker, remove the stitch marker and make two double crochet in that chain one space. Okay. Put your stitch marker back into that chain one. You don't want to lose that. And another two double crochet in the same chain one space from the previous round. So in this row, our increase will be two double crochet chain one and two double crochet okay and once you reach in the other side of your cup you will have to repeat the pattern of the houndstooth stitches which is an alternate of single crochet double crochet single crochet and so on until you reach at the bottom of your cup 
So I'm here at the end of this row and again I end up with a double crochet stitch and you have to unfinish that stitch or do not finish your double crochet. Drop this yarn and pick up the other color yarn and finish your double crochet with the next color or the second color yarn. Okay, so again, your last stitch will be unfinished. And then chain one, turn your work. Again, just like what we did in the previous row, we have to bury our previous color. Okay, this time this pale pink will be inside our stitches for this row. And start your row with single crochet and bury the tail or bury the second yarn double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet until you reach into your stitch marker. Again, always bury the previous color into your stitches. And now that we reach into our stitch marker, again we will do the increase which is two double crochet chain one and another two double crochet all in the same chain space from the previous round and put your stitch marker back again so we will not lose our increase part okay again repeat your hand stood stitch in the other side of your cup and burying your second or your previous yarn along with your stitches Repeat the single crochet, double crochet, stitches until you arrive into the bottom of your cup. So I'm here at the end and again I end up with a stitch of single crochet. The same way, do not finish that stitch. Drop this color and pick up the second color and finish your stitch with the second color yarn chain one and turn your work so to sum up the pattern you have to always unfinish the last stitch and pick up the second color start with a chain one and single crochet all the time okay so that's how I keep my edges a little bit straighter I always start with chain one and single crochet and then follow the pattern of single crochet double crochet or the hound's tooth until you reach again into your stitch marker and increase there. The same increase, this time it's always two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet in the same chain space. Then again, repeat the houndstooth stitches in the other side of your cup. So as you can see here, it looks like a little cup now and then the direction of the work is just back and forth and with an increase in the middle, that would be the peak of your cup, just like here, okay? And you have to repeat that pattern until you have big enough to cover your own boobs or your own size. So I'm here at the end of this last row with the last stitch and I'll finish it off with my next color. This time, we will go into a different direction. We will go into the bottom of the cup to make a border. So put two single crochet in each stitches where you make a chain one every time you turn your cup row. Okay, so the turning chain of your cup, you can see it straight away because when you pull the cup a little bit, it's a bit um, like a hole. So you put two single crochet in there, turning chain of your cup, to even the stitches or to look a little bit cleaner. I find it a little bit cleaner if I put two single crochets in that turning chain, okay? So continue along the cup bottom till you reach at the end and make sure again you bury your second color or the color that you're not using, okay? So continue your two single crochet into that turning chain from your cups rows. So I'm here at the end of this um, base of my cup. 
as you can see it's all two single crochet in that turning chain and then on this last stitch put another two single crochet and then in this stitch here this is the beginning or the first stitch in the side of your cup put single crochet and you can cut off the yarn now the second yarn not the the ones you're using so cut off the yarn that you're not using and then continue the single crochet around okay so this time just one single crochet around around the top of your cup so just single crochet you can use the same color as your last row or you can actually use the opposite color to give this cup a little bit of a drama so I'm here at the end and I will just continue by single crocheting and slip stitch to my first stitch and this is what our cup looks like right now it's very pretty I like the effect now we will attach our cup to our granny square panel you will align them like this and take note of the stitch marker in the middle so when I attach this first cup I did it this way I flip it wrong side facing and I start in the middle all the way here and we will do the same in the second cup okay we will start in the middle and single crochet our way going in the side I have to actually flip my work okay like so so I will be able to start my single crochet in this direction from here all the way here and that's that will be a lot easier for me if I do that way so insert your hook in the yarn in the middle and make sure you align all your stitches the cup and the granny square panel secure that yarn and make a single crochet in every stitches okay so all loop and you can bury the tails as you go along it's a little bit cleaner and tucked away so single crochet in every stitches until the end of your cup's edge or until every stitches of your cup is attached to your granny square panel So I'm here at the end and I have a few stitches left in my bra cup and I will single crochet that into my granny square panel and then slip stitch okay then we can cut off this yarn so far this is what it looks like once you attach your cup to your granny square panel and it's very sturdy and very pretty actually it has a good support especially if you are a bit busty and this way or this technique is just good to carry those girls so now we will do the borders of the cup in my original design i use a scallop for the borders but in this one here i will use a different one so grab your super fine or category one yarn in any color you like but i am using a white one um, i just find it prettier if it's white and attach your yarn here it should be right side facing okay and use just the back loop of all the stitches okay so we are starting in the granny square panel and just use the back loop do not use all the loop attach your yarn secure that make a chain of three okay so on the next stitch again back loop only you have to make a single crochet so there you go that's the first um, stitch for our borders and again chain of three and into the next stitch you have to single crochet using just the back loop okay so it's just a repeat pattern of chain three single crochet back loop only around your granny square panel and all the way to the cup okay so again chain three single crochet back loop only pull that tail chain three and single crochet back loop only okay so you have to repeat that pattern around your panel and all the way to the cup 
Okay, so it looks like this. It's very pretty. So the direction of your chain is from here all the way here in your panel and then go continue to the cup both cups until you arrived in this side so i'm here at the end of my borders again use the back loop and make a last single crochet and then pull the yarn to secure that then we can cut this off and we're done with the borders so i already have here my neck straps and the straps for the back closure so we're gonna do that here too in this side so we will start with the neck strap and you have to attach your yarn in the highest peak of your bra cup so pull a yarn and make a chain and also i would like to emphasize that you have to insert your hook into your borders and include that borders into your chain just to secure the stitches into the straps okay and then you have to make a chain of around 110 to 130 it depends how long you want your strap mine is 110 and we will slip stitch all the way back and attach the pearl so slip stitch into the first 15 stitches of your chain so i have here my 15 slip stitch and grab your pearl and the smallest size of a hook you can find insert your pearl into that hook and use that hook to grab the yarn all the way to the inside of your pearl okay that's how i usually do this but if you have a better way you can also do that and then go back to your working hook which is a three millimeter and then again slip stitch into the chain 15. Okay, so the interval or the spaces between each pearls is 15 slip stitch. Repeat that 15 slip stitch and then purl until you reached into your very first chain for your neck strap. I have finished my last 15 batch of slip stitch and I will end this row with a slip stitch into the cup itself okay so just next to the stitch where you insert your yarn okay to close this row and then pull a yarn and you can cut off that yarn and you have to repeat it into the other cup okay and this time we will attach our yarn into the topmost sides of the granny squares in the panel and you have to make a chain of 150 to 200 it depends the sizes you're making so in this case i have a around 140 and i'm size small so now that you finish both chains for your back closure insert a darning needle each end of that chain and we will use that to lace our chains at the back for this um, corset style closure so my spaces between the corsets or the lacing is five stitches so it's a lot easier if you're using a darning needle to insert the lace the chains into your bralette So we're pretty much done with the project. If you like this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Let me know if you have some comments, suggestions in the comment section. And don't forget to visit me in my social medias. And I also have an exclusive written patterns and written patterns version of some of the tutorials in my Etsy shop that you can definitely visit in the, the link should be in the description box below. So thank you so much for staying with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you again sometime next week. Goodbye!